Um, I think that they have integrity and that they have a bit of personality and that they represent us well. I guess a strong leader, um, someone that's, that is, can relate to Ireland and what Ireland, and what Ireland is uh, as a country and also to the people of Ireland as well, as someone that is um, kind of approachable and is seen by everybody as, a, as an overall person in all aspects of society in Ireland. Integrity. Okay, all skeletons in the closet out there, <laughs> so everybody knows what they're getting. Um, but also somebody who's, who comes across, across quite well, somebody quite educated, somebody who's able to talk and interact with people um, in other countries, I think. Yes, yeah, figurehead of the country. Yeah. You know, like you have to be able to, uh, it's got to be someone you can stand behind. Somebody yeah. who represents all the yeah. values of your country. Yet who comes across well. I mean, Mary McAleese was amazing, Mary Robinson were amazing. They're both really hard people to follow. Good communication skills, um, a sense of dignity, uh, an understanding that they represent our country in all its fields. And that sometimes means bringing in areas that um, other people may not have thought of and giving them a voice. Yes, I think it's important. And to, to be uh, well mannered, to entertain the visiting dignitaries, to be uh, a good visitor when they're abroad, uh, just a good, a good sense of, of themselves and, and the country. They can have political views but they shouldn't be enforcing the political views um, and they should look at all of Ireland as, and everybody in Ireland as Irish and um, whether they're gay woman, lesbian, male, whatever. Everybody they should everybody should be treated equally. Integrity. Nothing else again, just integrity. Well, I think they have to have to sort of show that they show some Irishness like they have to have an Irish feel about them in the sense that they they should be from a a sort of a background that would people would recognise them that they're Irish and that they would uh, They would help the country to get through what we're going through at the moment. Um, we'll continue really with what uh, Mary McAleese has been doing because basically, you know, you couldn't, you know, I don't know who will actually uh, live up to her um, right now because she's been such a good president. They need to be as representative of the population at large as possible. So I think that means kind of uh, a good mix of, you know, tradition, uh, traditional values and also I suppose a more modern maybe more liberal outlook which is probably more reflective of uh, modern Ireland. I think they should have a lot of integrity and they should have a lot of they should have a good understanding of what it what what the job entails I think they should be somebody who has has been involved probably in politics for a while to understand it and I feel that they should not just hop on a bandwagon. There seems to be a little bit of that going on at the moment. The people are just kind of assuming, thinking it seems like a good job, which I don't think is what it should be about. I think they need to be honourable people. Uh, I think that they need to have a good profile uh, across the world. I do think the president can be influential with regard to foreign trade missions, that type of thing. Um, but I, I think integrity and a good, uh, a good uh, global profile would be important.